Understanding the memory of society. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, memory of society. This phrase might sound complex at first, but don't worry. We'll break it down together, making it easy to understand and use in your conversations or writings. Let's embark on this linguistic journey. The phrase, memory of society, refers to the collective memory and experiences shared by a group of people, usually within a specific culture or society. It's like a huge library where all the historical events, traditions, values, and beliefs of that society are stored. This library isn't a physical place. Instead, it exists in the shared consciousness of the people. To better understand this concept, let's look at some examples. For instance, when people in the United States think of the 4th of July, they associate it with Independence Day celebrations. This is part of the American memory of society. Another example could be the way stories and legends are passed down through generations in a culture, keeping the history alive. Understanding the memory of society is crucial because it helps us comprehend how societies remember their past and how this influences their present and future. It affects everything from politics and education to art and culture. It's like a guidebook that shapes the identity and values of a community. For English learners, grasping phrases like memory of society is vital. It not only enhances vocabulary but also provides a deeper insight into English-speaking cultures. This understanding can be pivotal in mastering the language and in appreciating the nuances and richness of English expressions. And that's a wrap on the memory of society. I hope this video has illuminated this fascinating phrase and its significance in both language and culture. Remember, every phrase you learn is a step closer to fluency and cultural understanding. Keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video.